Okay, in an exciting uh, day so far in the football, Colombia and Japan have got through from their group. Uh, Colombia beat Senegal 1-0. Uh, Senegal were the best team in the first half. Um, however, they couldn't put Colombia to bed. James Rodriguez goes off injured, which will be a concern. But Colombia stuck in there, and uh, Yerry Mina has scored his second goal from a corner in the, in, in the World Cup. Uh, he's, he's very good for a centre-back. He scores one goal every ten games. He scored two goals in two games, so his, his strike rate... Is, is, is pretty good uh, in this World Cup and sadly because because of that result and the result elsewhere which was Poland won Japan nil, uh, Japan go through to the next round by, by virtue of having two less players on, on yellow cards that is, this, that is this the first time this World Cup that group has been decided by you know who goes through in what position due to cards against players if they were equal on that it would be drawn out a lot that is the, where we got to um, Colombia didn't look great today, but they did enough. Uh, they're going to have to improve if, if they're going to beat Belgium or England in the next round. That's a given. Uh, and the same for Japan. They're going to have to improve if they're going to beat Belgium or England in the next round. We find out this evening, the Belgium-England game, who goes through. Now, I'm only going to review the Belgium-England game because Panama Juniors year is, is not relevant. Uh, both teams are out. Um, this is the game of the day. And probably of the round is Belgium, England. People were looking forward to this before the tournament. But Colombia have got through. Japan have got through. They are going to they are going to be tricky opponents. They'll be easy. If Colombia play like they played against Poland, they could easily beat Belgium. They could easily beat England. Uh, and if, if Japan are as solid as they were against Colombia, um, so solid against a better team, even though the other team are 10, 10 men for most of the match, they can also pose problems. They're a very solid side, very disciplined side. And so... Both these teams are going to be difficult for Belgium and England, but uh, I think Colombia have got a bit more when they actually turn it on, because when they turn it on, as proved against Poland, um, they, they can just annihilate um, the opposition. They can just go through you know, players that play at top level in Europe um, and, and make them look very, very simple. Um, Poland leave the World Cup on a high. I mean, they were poor. Uh, throughout the tournament, they weren't great in the first half against Japan from what I was picking up from the other game because I was focusing on Colombia, uh, Senegal. But um, yeah. Japan are going to have to seriously improve and step up a level. Colombia, they just need to figure out how to click again because they did very well in the last World Cup. James Rodriguez, is he a long term injury doubt or is it just a precautionary thing because he did miss the first game with an injury as well? Uh, but this is also the first time Colombia have gone through the group after losing their first group game. So, this World Cup's gone mad. Germany are out, Poland are out, uh, Argentina scraped through. Brazil didn't really look great yesterday, but they got through. Now it's up to England and Belgium to really cap off a brilliant group stage. No, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Place your comments below. I'll have some more videos for you very shortly.